So I'm talking to Dean Cordwell and Nikki Cree here at Aviemore 2020. So how's it been today for you? It's been really good, it's been a good day, nice atmosphere, plenty of people, a lot of things going on. Um... Nicola's had a successful run today, which is always a bonus. Yeah. Um, the puppies have been getting lots of cuddles. Um, How just... many pups have we got? We've got three puppies, uh, just under ten weeks old now. Um, they're just a bit of a handful, but... Uh, it's, it's good for them here, uh, lots of uh, sounds and things for them to take in. Um, they've been causing a sensation. They have, yeah. yeah. We've only been out for five, five minutes. I think we've become a... <laughs> and then we grew a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's good for the pups, though. Um, it's just a good environment for them to be in. Yeah. Yeah. So which race were you in today, Nikki? Uh, so I was in the two-dog freight class, um, and it was quite nice that it's been supported quite well. Um, this year the freight teams have come back to the side club um, and we had a really good run. It's actually our first Aviemore um, and yeah. in their fourth race so they've done really well today and um, so really happy with them. That's great and what are they? What's the so I've got two Canadian Eskimo dogs, one's 18 months old uh, called Jack, she's female and then I've got a boy that's three and a half years old called Orca um, and he's the one that keeps us on the straight and narrow, <laughs> make sure we go the right way. <laughs> So what sort of training do you do with them? <coughs> Our sort of programme, if you like, it sort of begins in sort of mid-August um, and we, we focus a lot on conditioning first. Um, so a lot of muscle work, a lot of weight work and really just teaching the dogs and reminding them to pull. Um, once we sort of get to the beginning of the season, we tend to come off the heavy stuff, um, tend to work out roughly the teams um, and then we do some, some lighter work and just build the speed up gradually. Um, and then we just get to the races and see what happens and tweak as we need to throughout the season. But that generally works pretty well for us. And have you had any successes this year? This year we have, um, so because of the puppies, we haven't raced as much as we'd like to. Um, but the Eskimos again, we've got two seconds, um, well four seconds over two different rallies, um, which I couldn't have asked more for from two really young dogs for their first season, so really, yeah. That's great. And what are your plans for this year? <laughs> um, Nikki's currently in discussion with people about importing a couple of dogs. Um, I went over to America last year, um, and we're also in discussions with bringing a couple of dogs in. Um, but our main focus for this year, really, is to bring the dogs on we've got, uh, especially the puppies. Um, and really sort of hit the racing season a bit harder with a bit more of a, an impact hopefully next season. Um, so it's going to be a busy year for us. Um, yeah. Hopefully the puppies will like to do a bit of showing, so we'll, we'll continue with the showing. Uh, we're going to Cuffs this year. Um, so we've two dogs qualified, well, we've three dogs qualified for Cuffs, but we'll only take two, I think. Um, so yeah, it'll just be a busy year, just, just continue with the showing and just bringing these puppies on. Um, and just looking at the dogs again, because they're obviously a bit older now, so we might have to mix things up and do some things different, but the sort of regime t tends to stay the same, really. Um, and what are you feeding them on? So at the moment, um, <clears throat> we feed the racing team CP30, um, and at the moment we're using actually a little champ for the puppies. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And we do also mix um, a little bit of raw meat in there. Yeah for them as well just to keep the protein levels high just before a race because that's what they depend on for the shorter races um, but we've been feeding CSJ now for well I fed it I had Labradors before I met my other half and um, we fed CSJ for a good 15 years um, to our working Labradors um, who, and I now do fly ball with them and they're all on adult champ um, so the sides have been on it for uh, two or three years? Yeah, I, I sort of I've intermittently used it and always seem to have come back to it when I've had a problem with different feeds. Um, and we've just kind of settled on it this, this time. I think we'll stick with it. Um, it gives us everything we need. Um, we've no problems with it and the, and the stools are good. The dogs are not getting skinny when we're racing. You know, they're holding the weight well, which is all important for us. And because um, we show as well, we use quite a lot of the salmon oil to keep their coats in really good yeah. condition. Um, and we've noticed a massive difference this Absolutely, year because yeah. we've used a lot more of that than we have done in the past. Um, because our, this year our focus switched a bit more to the showing side. Um, 
and that's made a really big difference. Yeah, absolutely, to them, absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. Luck with the pup. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. No, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.